Today we'll be going over export settings in DaVinci Resolve 17. We are currently in the deliver page, which you can get to by selecting the rocket icon in the bottom right hand corner. So all the settings that you need for export is on the left side in this panel right here. First of all, select where you want your files to be saved, as well as naming your file. We then go and select single clip, and then we select the clip that we want to export. So we're just going to press I, which is the in, and then the out range is already done. But you can press O to select your out range. The next thing we're going to do is making sure that we've selected export video on the video tab. We're going to make sure our format is QuickTime. We often leave our codec at H.264, however files can get quite big, therefore sometimes we go and select H.265. This also runs better on some computers such as Macs. For the encoder, if you do have a NVIDIA graphics card, we go and select NVIDIA as this often speeds up render times. But we will also go over the settings you need with the native, i.e. the CPU. But for now we'll select the NVIDIA. We come down and we make sure our timer, even if our clip was shot in 1080p, we make sure our timeline is in 3840 by 2160 and then press save. Essentially, you are upscaling the video. The reason we export in 4K is because of the compression that you see on Instagram as well as YouTube, where we found if you upload in 1080p, the compression is so much more than if you upload in 4K. The main thing you notice is with grain. So with grain, usually when you upload in 1080p, the grain completely disappears if you had grain on your clip. But if you export in 4K and you upload that, to YouTube, even if it was originally a 1080p clip, the grain will then show and things just look a lot more crisp. So we're gonna to go to resolution and we're gonna select this. Frame rate, we're gonna leave at 24 frames per second. The quality, we're gonna leave at best. The encoding profile, auto, keyframes, automatic. Rate control, we usually leave at VBR, high quality. For the look ahead, we select 16 frames. We enable adaptive B frame. We don't select this one. Um, the AQ strength we leave at 8 and everything else is unticked here. For the advanced settings, the pixel aspect ratio we leave at square, data levels auto, color space tag same as project, gamma tag same as project, data burn in same as project, and we select a bypass re encode when possible as well as ticking this last one. We leave enable flat pass off as well as leaving everything else off. And then if we close this and we go to audio, we leave the codec at linear, PCM, the sample rate at 48,000, the bit depth 16, and the output track main one stereo. And then if you haven't already, you can name your files. So cam short clip five. And then if you press, go back to video, you press add to render queue, and then you'll get the render here. And then what you can do is make sure it's selected and press render all. And then what it's going to do is it's going to render your project for you. If you don't have a NVIDIA graphics card, the encoder select native. Here, all you have to do is for the quality, select best, keyframes, automatic, encoding profile, automatic, and frame recording selected. And for the advanced settings, you leave everything the same as before. And that is it. That's how we export videos. We really recommend these days, try not to export in 1080p, try and export in 4K if you can, because of the compression rates in all the different platforms these days that we do often post on. Usually 1080p gets really crushed and basically destroyed, um, and it makes your footage look really bad, and obviously you want your work to look really good, therefore we recommend exporting and uploading in 4K, if possible. If not, then it really it doesn't matter too much. Thank you.